All right, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about angles. Now we're going to talk about special kinds of angles um, in relation to each other. You may have heard some of these words. Complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add to 90. And so, for example, you could have an angle that is... 30 degrees, and you could have an angle that is 60 degrees, and together they make a 90 degree angle. Now, they could be separate from each other, or they could be together, and you might be able to see it a little easier if, if they had it like this. They've got the 90 degree marked, and you've got two angles right there. When you have two angles that look like this, since I just drew it, those are called adjacent angles, angles that share one of the sides. Angles that share a side. Basically, think of them as neighbor angles. Why I say neighbor angles is because when you say adjacent, the person sitting next to you is adjacent to you. The neighbor that has a yard adjacent to yours is next to you. Uh, similar to complementary is supplementary. Supplementary are just different because you have two angles that add to 180. So emphasis 180 here and 90 here. This may be a, a simple way to think of it, but people get these mixed up. And so I know there are complementary, I know there are supplementary. I know that C comes before S, and so I know the 90 is smaller than 180. And so how, that's how I keep them straight. So maybe an example could be you have a 30 degree angle and a 150 degree angle. Because 30 and 150 add up to 180, those two are supplementary angles. Now a special kind of supplementary angles, actually adjacent supplementary angles, is what a linear pair is. Adjacent supplementary angles. They form a straight line. And so a linear pair, emphasis on line. They form a line, so you've got two angles that form a line. So this is the geometric way of saying it. Two angles that form a line. So when you see linear pair, see that root word line in linear. And they note that a linear pair is also a supplementary angle. But supplementary angles are not always linear pairs because they may not be touching. And last but not least, vertical angles. When you get two lines that intersect, you get vertical angles. And vertical angles are say one and two angles that are across from each other like this and three and four are vertical angles angle one and angle two are vertical angles they are across from each other in intersecting lines when lines intersect. And so 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. Now, something special about a linear uh sorry, vertical angles. Let's just say that this was 40 degrees. Uh 30 degrees. Let's say it's 30. If this is 30, then this angle 4 forms a linear pair. And so this is going to be 150 because 30 plus 150 is 180. And if this is 150, then this is going to be 30 again. And so angle 1, vertical angles are always congruent. They will always be congruent because this will always be 180 minus that, and this will always be 180. And so they're going to be across from each other. 
So a little bit of practice. So we've got an angle that is 53, an angle that is 143, and an angle that is 37. Out of these, which angles are complementary? So complementary, you have to think the C comes before the S, and so these have to add to 90. And so complementary angles, 53 and 37, add to 90. And so we could say angle EFG and angle IJK. Now, you could just say angle J right here because there's no question, but you have to use all three letters there. Which ones are supplementary? Meaning they've got to add to 180. And so we've got 143 and 37. 143 plus 37 add to 180. And so we've got angle GFH. And I'm just going to say angle J, because angle J is the other one there. Now, which ones are adjacent? Now, this one is not adjacent to any of them, but these two angles share FG. And so both share FG as array. And so angle E. F, G, and angle G, F, H. And there you have it. Different kinds of, kinds of angles, complementary, supplementary. Keep those straight. Which ones are which? Next example, we're going to solve for X using what we know about these angles. Now, we've got these angles coming together. These two angles are what are called the linear pair. They form that straight angle, and so we know that this angle plus this angle better be 180. So I'm going to set up an equation about that. 4x plus 15 plus 3x plus 32 better equal 180 because they are a linear pair, which is a special kind of supplementary angles. So 4x and 3x make 7x, and 15 and 32 make 47. And so if you subtract 47, you get uh, 133. And you divide by 7, and you get 19. Pardon me typing this into the calculator. I just don't want to mess it up. And if you get... Um, real quick, just to double check it, 4 times 19 plus 15 is 91, and 3 times 15 plus 32, uh, sorry, 19, because we got 19 as the answer, is 89, and 91 plus 89 is 180. And so this one is 91 degrees, this one is 89 degrees, and so it just acts as a good double check. It only asks you to solve for x. But we went, took it a step further to be able to check our answers. Two angles form a linear pair of angles. Linear pair, that's what we just had up there. So a linear pair. One of the angles is three times the measure of the other angle. Find the measure of both angles. So let's say um, if one of the angles is three times the other. So if we have one angle, call it x. The other one is three times as big, so let's call it 3x. I may not be the scale. It actually looks like it's much more than three times as much. But what we do know is that a linear pair, it has to add up to 180. And so we could write another equation. 3x plus x has to equal 180. And then 4x equals 180, and if you divide by 4, 45 degrees. So that's the one angle, 45 degrees, and the other angle is 3 times x, and that's going to be 135, 3 times 45, 
until your two angles, 45 and 135, one is three times the other, and they both add up to 180. So we're good to go. The measure of an angle is two times the measure of its complement. Complement should ring as the one that add up to 90. And so easiest way I can think of this is to draw it as if it adds to 90. So the measure of one angle is two times the measure of the one it's complementary to. And so let's pick something and then pick the one that's twice as big. If you don't like X, pick A to represent angle, whatever you feel like. So 2X plus X better equal 90. And so 2X and X make 3X. And so X is 30 once you divide. So 30 degrees, and then the one that's twice, that is 60. And notice that 30 and 60 add up to 90. All right, let's keep going. So find the measure of angle LMN and NMO. Notice we've got a straight angle being formed here. We've got two adjacent angles that are equal 180, so let's add them together. 3x plus 5 plus 2x minus 10 equals 180. The secret in this is the equation. If you set these two things equal to each other, you will be wrong. If you add them together and say they're equal to 90, you will be wrong. So you have to recognize this as a linear pair. You have to recognize it as adding to 90. Sorry, adding to 180. Otherwise, you're going to end up in the wrong spot. 3x and 2x make 5x. 5 minus 10 is a negative 5. And if you add it to the other side, add 5 to the other side, you get 185. And 185 divided by 5 is 37. So that's x. So if you take that and plug it back in, LMN is 3 times 37 plus 5, 116. And measure of angle NMO, 2 times 37 minus 10. You get 64. 116 plus 64, 180. We're in good shape. Double check those answers. Now we want to find just x and y. So these two are a linear pair, but one's got an x, one has a y. These two are a linear pair, and both of those have x's, so I'm going to start right there. What if we said that 9x plus 20 plus 7x was equal to 180 degrees? Notice a pattern here. We're either adding to 90 or adding to 180, or we're going to set them equal to each other. 9x and 7x, 16x plus 20. If you subtract that 20, you get 160, and then x should be 10. So that means this is 70. 9 times 10 plus 20. 90 plus 20 is 110, which makes sense because those two add to 180 now. So that must mean that this is equal to 70. So two things you can do. Either you could say 2y plus 110 equals 180. Or you could say 70 was equal to 2y. So I'm just going to say that one. So then divide by 2, you must get y equals 35. x equals 10, y equals 35. And there you have it. Linear pairs, vertical angles, complementary, supplementary angles.